So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question because it's a short question. Simplified questions are typically one to three lines long. Um, however, I don't see anything that can be simplified. Again, typical, typical simplified questions have an equation or an expression that can be simplified. There is an equation here, but it's a single equation. There are two unknowns, so I can't really simplify that. So this most likely will be some other strategy. So when I read this in the standard xy coordinate plane, again, anytime I see a sentence or a question that starts out with that wording, I say, well, hey, you didn't provide an xy coordinate plane, so I'm going to draw my own xy coordinate plane just so I have a visual that could be helpful for me. It asks, what is the slope of the line given by the equation? And again, even talking about equations provided, I also write that down. So now that I understand what the question is asking, I realize that I don't actually need this. But what I actually do need is to realize that if I can convert this equation into y equals mx plus b form, I can then say what the slope of the equation is. So we have for x out in front, I want y isolated. So I'm going to take this equation and isolate y. So again, it's 4x equals 7y plus 5. I'm going to, I'm going to subtract 4x, subtract 7y. So then Oh, I subtract 4x from this side and subtract 7y from this side as well. So what I'm left with is negative 7y equals negative 4x plus 5. So I'm getting closer to having my y value on the left side and isolate it. I can then divide everything by negative 7. And what I'm left with here is y equals, well, negative 4 divided by negative 7 is positive 4 sevenths x and then minus 5 sevenths. But none of that matters because all I really care about here is my slope or this m value. And therefore, I now have isolated or can now determine the m value or determine the slope to be 4 sevenths, which means my answer is choice B.